Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the world of home tech with me, your host, Paul Hibbert. Welcome to Nisha's desk for some reason. Um, I thought I would say Nisha's desk because it was easier to demonstrate this. Check it out. Alexa, start Netflix. Okay. Look, it's totally Netflix. Uh, basically, this is my NVIDIA Shield, and I've programmed it to do a couple of things. The first one is load programs or applications like that. The second one is this. Alexa, go down to. Okay. It went down to. Alexa, go up to. Okay. Alexa, select. Okay. Flipping Gilmore Girls. Uh, Alexa, go back. Okay. It goes back. I can, like, fully navigate to my NVIDIA shield using my voice via she that shall not be named. How good is that? Now you're either thinking one of two things. Either you're thinking, well, that's just the NVIDIA Shield skill, you loser. Uh, in which case you're wrong, because the NVIDIA Shield skill does not work that well and only works in the US because... NVIDIA. Uh, and secondly, you might be thinking, well, how you do that, then? And the answer is elementary, my dear person I've never met. Elementary. Uh, basically, I'm using a Broadlink RM Black Bean Mini, which is like this much money, mega cheap. Uh, and if you know what this is, you're going, but that fires infrared signals, and the NVIDIA Shield does not receive infrared signals. And here is what this episode is about. I'm using an FLIRC, which is this tiny little USB thing, which is magic and uh, makes um, things that are infrared readable by not only the NVIDIA Shield, but also the PlayStation 4, which is also super exciting because she that shall not be named cannot control the PlayStation 4 either. It can also control lots of other things. Um, here's how. But what the hell is a Broadlink Black Bean, I hear you say? And the answer is, again, very simple. This thing mimics TV remotes, so it learns things like this remote, uh, and then fires the same frequency when you tell it to via She That Should Not Be Named, or Google Home, or via their app. Uh, and it's as simple as that. So that explains how I got it to go up, down, left, right, select, go back, home, and volume up and volume down. But it doesn't explain how I got it to load Netflix. Uh, I got it to load Netflix using Alberto Sonorus. And if you saw my video about a month ago, uh, I did exactly this with an Android set-top box. It just wasn't really possible to do it with an NVIDIA Shield because I couldn't control the navigation. So if you're new to my channel, uh, basically Alberto Sonorus is an app that sits on the NVIDIA Shield and listens out for She That Shall Not Be Named. Uh, I then install the Alberto Sonorus skill on She That Shall Not Be Named, and I can just load these programs up as if they were lamps. I can just turn them on and the application loads. Uh, that is it. If I showed you how to do all of that, everyone that is a loyal follower of mine will go, huh, goodbye, because they already saw me do it. So go watch this video here. I almost pointed at the wrong side. This video here will show you exactly how to set up both the up, down, left, right, and select stuff, and also how to install Alberto Sonorus and get that working. This video is about this little beauty. This thing already knows how to control, wait for it, the NVIDIA Shield, your PS4, your Xbox, your Kodi Box, your Boxy Box, your Fire TV, and your PC, Mac, Linux, or Raspberry Pi. Mental. You literally don't have to program any of those things in. When you plug it into one of those things, it goes, oh, oh hello, I know what you are. And all you've got to do is tell it which one of these buttons will make those things happen. It is completely insane. Because this can control PCs and Macs and Linuxes and Raspberry Pis and stuff, you could program any button on this remote to wake those things up and then use this thing to get she that shall not be named to wake your PC. That's kind of a big deal. Fluk, which is a stupid name, only costs this much money, which is mental. Because if you already own one of these, then it's only going to cost you that much money to be able to control your NVIDIA Shield, or your PC, or your Apple Mac, or your Linux, or your Raspberry Pi, or your whatever, which is completely mental. Even if you don't own one of these things, the Broadlink Black Bean only costs this much money, uh, and the Broadlink RM Pro, which is even better and does more stuff, isn't a great deal more expensive, and I highly recommend that anyway, because it controls things like RF plug sockets and light switches. Uh, either way, you're only spending a very small amount of money to get some really, really cool functionality out of She That Should Not Be Named, or potentially Google Home, if you have things that are not the NVIDIA Shield that you want to do this with. 
I don't feel like you're anybody off this week, so unfortunately I'm about to rectify that. This is the Nvidia Shield remote, and it stinks. The volume up and down slider on the middle doesn't work properly half the time. Uh, the button which listens to you, great idea. If it worked, it never hears what I say, ever. It's always wrong. Uh, lack of buttons, I can't say enough bad things about that. This is my old Android set-top box remote. I can program this remote to control my projector uh, naturally. It came with that functionality. It has a volume up and down button, which work. Um, it's got shortcut buttons, and I can program those, and have done, to load Netflix, Crunchyroll, and Amazon Prime Video, and then I've got all these number buttons, which I've programmed to do things like switch my lights on and off. And I'll cover that in another video. So, this remote much better than this one, and I can now use it thanks to Fluk, along with She That Should Not Be Named, and Google Home, so yes, yes I do recommend this. It wouldn't be right to call this a perfect device, it is infrared based. It is as good as it can be because that's its whole thing. It is turning infrared into something that isn't infrared and therefore it has to be infrared. But infrared as a technology is flawed in that it doesn't go through walls. If you put this thing in a cupboard and you close it all off, you're not going to be able to control your Nvidia shield unless you put a little USB extender around to somewhere so it is visible to your remote control or to your Broadlink Black Bean which is going to be acting in place of your remote control. That is just the nature of infrared. That said, mine sits at the other side of the room and has the thing on the back of the Nvidia Shield facing a wall and it still detects it every time. It's like really, really strong receiver built into this thing. Uh, I can't praise it enough. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see some more of this guy, hit that subscribe button. Come hang out with me at these places. And if you want to help make these videos a possibility like these amazing people, I honestly can't thank them enough. Uh, come and be one of these people at Patreon. Or if I've just helped you out one time and you think I only want to pay him one time, you can do so at PayPal. And I'll see you next time. How did I get it to load Netflix or Spotify like I did at the beginning of this video? At the beginning. <laughs> like I did at the beginning. I can't do this. I can't say those words. This is too slow. This is too slow. Spending only this much in total to be able to... Yeah. <laughs> So flippin' lootly, I do. Honestly, I just... Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have... I, I just do this all the time. I'm like, look, I'm shrugging my shoulders. What a douche. <laughs>